Welcome. My name is Nicole Telkish. I am the director and founder of the Wildflower School of Botanical Medicine, and it is Materia Medica Monday. So I bring a different plant to you every Monday. Uh, and this week we're going to be exploring the virtues of vervain. And I have one of the species that I work with here in my hand. So at the time of this recording, it is very close to the summer solstice. That means it's midsummer. And traditionally, vervain is a plant of midsummer. So this is something that was traditionally gathered uh, in northern climates at this time of year. So it's very exciting to see it up, blooming, active. Although in the deep south, this kind of thing, vervain blooms throughout the year. There are so many kinds of vervain. I have gotten to have a lot of experience with it. And at the time of this recording as well, there's a lot going on and vervain just keeps coming up. So I wanted to spend some time looking at its virtues and why I keep thinking of it at this time. So as the heat comes in and people get heated and there's a lot of um, irritation, anger, that sort of thing, vervain is the best, one of the best allies to really bring in for irritation, heat and anger and just feeling a lot of... Um, a lot of feelings of being overwhelmed, stressed out, anxiety. Um, this plant really helps to just calm your nervous system and it also releases heat. So it's Latin binomial is verbena and there's verbena, you know, halii, canescens, brasiliensis, lots of different verbenas. There's even a verbena that is now called glandularia. So they've changed the name, but that's a prairie vervain that I see all over the deserts and um, central Texas. So lots of different kinds. They kind of differ. They all have, just like mints, they have these square stems and op in opposite leaves and are highly aromatic. But what's different about it from other mints, this is not a mint, this is the vervain family as well. So this family has different types of flowers than the mint family. So the way you tell it apart is that it has um, a, a different flower arrangement, which we get into in classes and I'm not going to spend time with here. But this is definitely a vervain and I've been watching it come up and blooming in uh, as the heat comes in. And so I wanted to kind of spend some time again talking a little bit about its actions and how I use it. So I like to uh, gather it fresh and make tincture out of it. You can also make tea, but it tastes god awful and it is highly bitter, highly, highly, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm going for? Uh, not just bitter, but, um, uh, oh, I'm forgetting the word, but it, it just has a lot of, of intensity to its flavor. So you're not going to want to, um, acrid, that's the word. Um, so it's very acrid, very bitter, which, um, it helps to not just relieve any kind of anxiety and um, calm the system, but it also helps to relieve um, digestive irritation and stress. So it's gonna be something that I use to help calm things like irritable bowel syndrome or other digestive stress. So this is definitely something you can try a few drops of in a tincture form, because I've found a lot of times that it works in drop dosage um, and you don't really need to take high doses of it for digestive stress. So that's something to consider. You'll also find that people are using this um, a lot for menopausal symptoms where there's this false heat that rises and you get these irritations and being overwhelmed and all of these hormonal surges that cause um, false heat in the system. So again, vervain is really great for hot flashes and things like that. So keep that in mind. 
Um, but again, I don't really see this um, a popular tea because the species that I'm most familiar with are so bitter and acrid. And I've had some of our students exclaim um, they've had some pretty intense expletives about what they thought about the flavor, but you might not feel the same way. So that's up to you. So tea, um, you can do tincture, you can do glycerite, uh, but it, it is mainly used internally as a calming plant. So this may be something that you want to explore as one of your potential allies. And I see it growing most parts of the country, but a lot in the South where there's a lot of heat. I think of road rage too. Like if you're somebody who's, or maybe you garden all day and you're feeling really, really hot and irritated, this is a nice one. So it's a bitter, aromatic, calming plant specific to heat and digestive stress and um, definitely hormonal surges. So keep that in mind and have fun with it. Um, in some of its more esoteric uh, ways of being used, you'll find that it was used by druids um, for some secret ceremonies and um, for protection and spells and incantations. So this has a long history of magical uses as well. It's ruled by Venus and is thought of as being hot and dry and it tends to be originally one of the ways as of old it was prepared according to Elizabeth Brooks um, works on astrological herbalism was it was made into a cold tea and then added into wine so I thought that was kind of interesting you can try it out but there's a lot of magic and mysticism and um, it potentially has a lot of use, not just to relieve any kind of anger and irritation and heat, but also protect when you go out into places that might have a lot of um, potential irritants and things that go um, wrong for you. So in this case, right now, we're in the middle of a global revolution and um human rights and civil rights here in the U.S. So it's, I think, a good one for people going out on the streets to speak out in, um, for injustice and um, Black Lives Matter. So have fun with Vervain and um, be safe and we'll see you soon.